Hello, it's me, Jan Cano, and this is episode one of another playlist, Powder Toy Electronics. And in this episode, I'm going to explain to you how the basic electronics in Powder Toy work. Okay, first thing is the most basic wire, metal. Um, as the description says, it is a solid, conducts electricity, and it's meltable. So, let's just make a line of it. Spark it. Move across. That's all it does. It's but it can be used with the other elements in order to do something really good. So, let's go over P-type silicon or PSCN. Okay, this stuff is going to turn on most things that can be turned on and off, like switches, gravity pumps, regular pumps. Oh, they're they 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 um they're they're turned on by default, so we don't need to do that. Um, I think that is too well. Wow. Okay, this stuff. Heat, powered void, heat switch, power clone, and liquid crystal. I believe that's what it is. Yes, okay. This stuff conducts like metal, but it has different effects on these elements. Makes it all turn on. NSCN does as the stuff, it turns off the stuff. So, okay, yeah, that sucks, um, this, it looks terrible, I know, but it's just to show what it does. Fail. Um, anyway, let me just get rid of this, okay. Another thing is, that's interesting, is how PSCN and NSCN interact with each other. I'm going to zoom in here. Put some metal between there. Okay. Let's make it even simpler by doing that. Okay. So we have a PSCN and NSCN. Do that, it'll flow through. But, as the description says, I'll go back to the description will not transfer current to P-type silicon or PSCN. So, if I put it that way, it won't come out. So, it's just a diode. In essence, it's a... It's the only effect... It's just a diode. Um, one, and if you don't know what a diode is, um, it only lets the current pass through one way. So... Oh yeah, and... If, if you're wondering on the metal stirring wedge, just because it's hot, the sparks heated up, don't worry. Um, don't worry about that. Um, yes, it, it only lets it in one way. This can be useful for things that... Well, it's not completely useful, but in real life it has important things, but... Yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to go over these. In this tutorial, they're a bit more advanced. Um, let's go over batteries. Let's put a big block for sure. Okay. This battery, it, it it's a, uh, it infinitely makes sparks. It, any direction. Anybody wanted to do that? Um. It's not too complicated at all. It it just makes sparks. It transfers the spark to anything it's next to. Okay. And this works one pixel wise as well, so if we put a pixel to down, it does not need to be big. It the size doesn't affect the strength if there is a strength. I think that there is one. Um so yeah, let's move on. Insulated wire, this is nice. Um I make a line of this and a line of metal. Okay. These two have independent currents. So if I pass it to this, it won't give power to the metal. If I do that, it won't give power to the insulated wire. 
However, insulated the only thing insulated wire gives sparks to is the silicon. Because it doesn't give things to metal and semiconductors. But it does give things to these. And these two are semiconductors, just so you know. So when I power it. Yeah, it powers both of them. And these will also power the insulated wire. So you can use this to pass the current from the metal to the insulated wire, like this. So it'll pass like that and go through there. It should work the other way too, but let me just test that. Yep, it's coming back. It comes back the other wire. One, two, three, one, two, and that means two should come out that way. That just gave me an idea. I can do math of that somehow. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that, though. <laughs> Maybe later. Okay, it's clear. I'm going to go over the switch now. The switch, as you saw in the beginning of this video, can be turned on with this. It can be turned off with this. Turn it on and turn it off. But what is an on switch good for? We can get metal over here. And if we do that, it won't go through. We turn on the switch. Now it will go through. And you can use this to make a small little device. Um, it's another type of switch, I guess. Switch here. I'll have a wire of this coming out of there and coming out. Okay. Now, since the battery is giving that power, it won't go through unless we turn that on. So it gives this constant stream of um, sparks when we flip that switch. So it's another type of switch. Let's go over array. It looks like array, but it, it's it's actually an A type array. It's array of the type A. But I'm just gonna call it array because that's what it really looks like. Um. Okay. It's gonna say something. If you spark it, it will make a stream of something. And I'm gonna pause it while it's still there. Something called bray. Bray, I've, I've seen Bray used for many different things here. So, but let's go over more what Array will, how it will behave. If we put metal over here, it won't make the beam. That means you can make things out of Array a lot more compact. It will only do it if it's like that. But it also works on any side. Like if I do that, um, spark it. But it also works diagonally. But in another thing with Bray is that it only conducts so much because once the Bray goes away, which takes a while, it it um, there's space between that, so we can use that to make pulse shorter. So I'll put a fast pulse in through here and get a slow pul pulse out from there. Because the bray right here is transferring the current, but it can't do it fast enough. That's a pretty. I've used that in some of my things to make it so people don't click things too fast. It's good to have. Something interesting with bray though is if you connect it with PSCN, it makes a faster one. This faster one does not conduct electricity like Bray does. Well, it is still is Bray, it's a different type. Um, the normal white Bray does. This brown Bray. Try not to be racist. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna call it the white Bray and the brown Bray. Is that what it is? I'm not trying to offend anyone. Okay. That's what that does. And it goes faster. 
than the other braid does, but it doesn't conduct. So, what is it good for? That's what you're probably asking. It's good for. Oh, I forgot to show you this part of what braid does. Okay, array. If you heat up that array, I'm just gonna heat up to 802. Why not? And if we do that, this bray will be 802 degrees, the exact temperature that it's coming from. You can make types of guns with this concept. Um, I don't know why, but it goes faster and do it like that. Okay. You can make guns. You can uh, make laser guns and. Yeah, just. Um, yep. And because of how it acts, it doesn't pass the heat to the next element, so you don't. It's noob friendly. Can okay, let's do a block of this over here. I'll start sparking this. I think it's smaller. That's a lot of heat to pass. Okay, it's heating up and melting it because breakable metal has a pretty low melting temperature. Okay. So that does. And, oh yes, you can color this bray with filter, which is in the solids. Take the filter, put it through, right there. And then I'll take a ray. If you look here, see that it's blue. You can change the filter's color by heating it up. Let's just put two of these down so you can see the heating better. Okay, I'm heating it up, and the color slowly goes up along with it. You can make it from red to blue. There's more cool stuff about filter that I'll show you later. Okay. So you can make colored things too. Ah, why did I take that away? Okay. Another thing, cool thing is you know, you can make Bray not slow, but still conduct if you put filter in between where you want it to go. Let me just put this like that. So it's gonna come from here. Spark. So if I See? Comes from the end of here. Let me just uh, take this away. Yeah, because it's touching the metal, it, it's going to heat it up. And heat up the filter in turn. But we don't need to worry about that. If we just do this, I think that would. Eh. It's because we're using such big pieces of metal. Yeah, it instantly conducts it, and it keeps it the same rate. So that's good for electronics. Is that everything? Okay. Mercury is just liquid metal. That's all you need to know at this point. It conducts stuff. If we put on, if we put it on a flat plane like this. Wow. Okay, that's thin. Um, do it like that. That's annoying. Whatever. Okay, that should be enough to spark it through. Yes, it's it's just metal, and since it's moving around, the gaps are changing. Uh not good if you have a lot of it. Um, that's, that's about it for this tutorial. I um, don't think I have anything else to say. Let me think. Nope. We're done. Okay. See you later. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Goodbye.